hi guys in this video we will learn how to image upload to storage folder and display it in laravel application so let's get started with an example so i already downloaded fresh laravel application over here okay and you can see that i already simply run it with localhost 8000 okay so first of all i will create image controller over here and create route okay so first of all i will create controller mac controller and i will simply say image controller okay and now you can see that image controller is created and now if i go here let me show you that one so let me show that image upload is image controller is created and now you can see that here i will create one route that's called image upload so i will say route get and that's called image upload and here i will be called image controller so i will say image controller colon colon class and then i will simply say index save it okay and here i will be use the image controller over here okay so that's called image controller and simply save it and here i will create index method <coughs> you can see here and simply return view and that's called image upload and simply save it okay now we need to create one blade file over here okay so simply save it image dot blad dot php okay and simply save yeah here i will be use bootstrap so you can see that bootstrap cdn and simple design and i will simply say image upload to storage okay simply save it okay and now i will create one form over here so let me create one form and inside the form i will take one input so i will simply add div okay inside the div i will add input that's called file and name will be the image and i will add the class form control <clears throat> yeah simply save it okay and now at the end i will add another div and i will add one button okay and type will be submit and class will be btn btn success and here will be simply submit okay simply save it and let me run the application again for now okay php artisan serve okay now you can see here and if i go and i will simply say image upload and hit enter you can see that there is a properly designed with choose file upload and there is a submit button okay so let me add some space above so i will say class empty two margin top so you can see that some more spacing over here so now user will choose image over here okay like this way and then we upload this image to the storage folder okay so what we need to do first let me go here and i will simply say first of all route i will create so that's called post route image upload and here should be say store and i will simply give the name of the route so image dot upload dot store okay simply save it and let me use this over here so i will simply say action and inside the action we need to define the route okay so i will simply say route yeah and then i will simply add method so we are going to use post method so i will say post method and here i will be add csrf token okay csrf token also and also we are going to pass the file object so i will pass enc type multi part form data okay simply save it so we can allow to send the object to the area okay so simply save it okay and inside the controller i need to create storage okay so simply i will say store method over here okay and here i will be add the validation so quickly so i will simply say request validate and i will add email will be required and that should be image okay and if everything looks good then it should be go to here and dd simply and let's see what we return okay so simply go here and refresh it and let me choose the image over here and i will choose image and then click on submit you can see that we got the image object over here okay so now we will learn how to store this image to the storage folder okay so it's look very easy with the laravel so you can see that image 
path and I will simply say request image and there is a store method that's automatically store your image to the storage folder and which folder you need to define images okay only this will goes over here like if I go here and storage and app and private okay because if you go to the your file directories and there is a file system by default it's take local so local is that you can see that app and private so you can see the inside the app folder there is a private folder so that will create a new folder over here okay and that will store so simply let's see and what we return into the image path let's see okay so simply what i will do i will simply refresh and click on continue you can see that images and automatically they given the unique name to that image as well okay and now let's see here you can see that inside the private folder that's created a new images folder and store that images but we need to add on public folder so later we can use it we can display it as well so if you go to the file system configuration over here they already provided public disk and they already given the path for that so what we will do over here so simply go here and in second argument is optional so we can pass f4 or disk okay so i will say public okay simply save it okay and now let me go and refresh again yeah you can see that and now if i go to the public you can see here so that same image is displaying over here okay so now what we will do simply return back back and with i will say success and like image store okay simply save it and let me display this image over like a success message over here so i will simply say session and if there is success session and there should be and session okay and if and i will say alert alert success okay and then i will simply display the value so okay so simply save it okay and now let me go and refresh okay let me refresh it okay and let me choose again the image so i will go here and i will choose this image and click on submit you can see that image stored so successfully message is display so now what we need to do we also need to display the image over here okay so like uh, what image you selected that image you want to show okay from the storage so first of all you need to run one command so that's called php artisan storage colon link okay and click on it you can see that public storage link has been connected to the storage app public folder because directly we cannot access this storage folder any images and display on the front end side but right now it's linked with this folder okay with the images you can see here public and that's public okay so now what we will do simply go and simply image path we will add over here so i will simply pass as a width and i will simply say image path and simply pass with the path okay and now if i go here here i will be simply display one div more over here and that should be an image tag okay and here i will be simply say because inside the public folder there is automatically created storage so i will say storage and then because we are already getting the path so i will simply get from the session session and get and we already passed that that's called image path and i will simply add width that's called like uh, 300 pixels so it's limited save it okay and now let's see let me refresh it yeah let me run it again the project php artisan serve okay and refresh it yeah and let me choose again the image okay so now if i go here and i will choose one image and click on submit you can see that image store and you can see that it's displayed over here properly okay from the storage folder okay you can see we we link it okay and it's taken from the public okay so if you understand guys how easily we can store image to the storage folder and display it okay if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys